loaded gun, you have no idea. People who are watching this right now are gonna be like, if he says Call of Duty, then it's just fucking stereotype. If he says Halo, it's just fucking fuckity fuck fuck fuck. Like, there's no right answer. I, I, I honestly have to say that I don't necessarily have one favorite series. I like, uh, I'm more of a shooter kind of guy, if you haven't found that out already. Um, what's funny is that Ozymandias is like, he's like, MLG, Call of Duty fan. Oh my god, so fucking awesome. Uh. But I <laughs> actually grew up with, um, I grew up with the Halo series. Uh, I was kind of a fan of the Halo series, besides Halo 4 and what I believe that 343 did with it. But uh, that's a conversation for a different day, unless <laughs> that's question number 12. But uh, <laughs> 13, actually. Oh, sh- fuck. Well, <laughs> stay tuned. Um, but uh, I'd have to say... Uh, I guess it'd be easier to say game series that I enjoyed the most. Uh, I liked the Gears of War series because people like shit on it because it wasn't enough character development. It's fucking humans with huge ass hands. You don't need character development. It's just I gotta Shoot fucking... everything. Kill everything. I got <laughs> chainsaw on it. It's like the it's like the cancer patients from I Am Legend, and you just fucking you know slice them up. What's not to get about that? Uh, so, Lost Planet series, that was kind of fun. Uh, I just recently got into Dead Space. I played the Mass Effect series backwards, because I thought it was a good idea. Um, <laughs> Obviously, that didn't turn out well. <laughs> no, but I did find out that you, spoiler alert, you either destroy the Reapers, become the Reapers, or fucking mate with the Reapers, just to find out that Saren is a part of it, just to find out that the fucking Reapers exist. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not playing that game now. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when it comes to Halo, I know you're, you're probably going to hate me for this one, but uh, obviously Halo 4 isn't going to be your favorite, but what is your actual favorite Halo game of all time? Um, hmm. Kinda, I can rank that. Like, how many Halo games that came out? I'm not going to count Halo Wars, just because that didn't really have anything to do with that. <laughs> uh, starting from best to worst, I'm going to say... Uh, I want to say Halo 2. I want to say Halo 2, and then Halo, just because that's what started it all. But I think that Halo 2 had the best, like, just the best feeling, best design, in my opinion, like, control-wise. Uh, I have to agree with you on that one. <laughs> I'm going to say Halo 3, uh, and then Halo 3 ODST. And a lot of people are probably going to be like, dude, what the fuck? I like the idea of it. I definitely enjoy the fact that it's like, oh, okay, for once, we're not some big, bulky Spartan 1, or no, like, Spartan 2, 3, or, you know, and, like, we're actually, they, they tried to put us, a character who didn't talk, so it, like, subliminally meant, like, oh, like, this is us, we are this soldier, we're being put into the body of this soldier, and it made it more human, but I think that they kind of failed at the stealth because, like, you shot a silenced pistol, and they're just like, oh, what was that noise, and, like, they still heard you. <laughs> And you're dead. <laughs> and, and you're fucking gone because everybody's OP when it comes to ODST. But um, and then I'd probably uh say Halo Four only because like Spartan Four is our mainly aesthetic in my opinion. They have no they have no backbone. They're like gelatinous, and for some reason they have like a paperweight in the center of their mass where if they fall off a cliff they just go fucking back first and dun dun dun. <laughs> So, yeah. Now, uh, did you watch the E3 yesterday? I mean, this isn't an actual interview question, but just to spark a little bit. Um, bits and pieces, because I had to do uh, the Call of Duty Ghost gameplay thing with Drifter last night at about 3 o'clock in the morning, so... Ah, touche. Now, when it comes to the next generation, and you're probably going to also kill me for this one, um, what, what system do you think you're actually going to go with? The Xbox One or the uh, PS4? Oh. <sighs> This is this is actually a hard one. I'm. Yeah, boys are gonna hate you after this one. Remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm throwing myself into the lion's den. Um, I've actually, I've looked, I've taken looks at both uh, systems and what they've been announced so far. And to my ability, I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna be able to buy them right when they like drop because of financial situation. But my plan is to actually stick with my Xbox 360. For the time being, because most, um, not most, but a good chunk of the new games that are coming out that are going to be on the Xbox One slash PS4 are still going to be supported by the Xbox 360. And my Xbox 360 that I'm doing right now is on its last limbs. I mean, it's dirty. I cleaned it to the best of my ability, but, you know, like, bitch is getting old. 
And so I plan to wait until this Xbox 360 just completely dies from, like, kidney failure. And then, <laughs> um, which new generation console will I get? I might even dare to buy both, to be honest, because, um, uh, I grew up on the PS2 and, like, the PS and, like, Sega Genesis, but, but, but getting to the more, like, more common generation, I, I started with the PS2. And then the original Xbox came out, and it just took my heart, and I just loved it. I loved it. I just fucking, like, Halo? I know bitches who got married because of Halo. Like, it's just <laughs> fucking crazy. And just, I realized, I, I discovered what a community was. I thought it was just like, oh, like, people around the island? No, there's there's a world outside this island, and it is called <laughs> Halo. And uh, and so I'm pretty much, like, me, I'm sorry, guys out there, but I'm a diehard Xbox fan, but... I'm sure that a lot of Xbox fans, besides me, even though it would be against their fanboy code to say this, but the Xbox One looks like it was tripping on the way out, if you know what I'm saying. It is... <laughs> I mean, I can understand. I can I can, I can, can relate to the Microsoft where they're like, all right, uh, you got to be online. you got to do this and that. Because they want to avoid piracy. That's pretty much like the main reason I, I, I could come from that. They want to avoid people pirating games and getting things for free and losing the money. But ironically, like the snake has bit its own tail because by avoid by by trying to make people avoid losing you money with the piracy, you're actually losing more money because people aren't gonna buy it even to pirate it. So, I mean, but I mean, a lot of people are gonna jump ship to the PlayStation just because of that. Yeah, I really think. I mean, I could sit here and just bitch about that all day, but like <laughs> anybody can. Like, ever, you see all those angry guy, Amy, angry gamer reviews. And then the PS4. I mean, I was a fan of Kingdom Hearts when I was playing uh, PS2, so I might go. I might get that just for the Kingdom Hearts and the. I don't know if they're. I hope they come out with more Ratchet and Clank and Jack and Daxter because I like those guys. But well, I believe the people who actually made Ratchet and Clank are starting a new series with PS4, if I saw correctly. Oh, nice. See, I've never touched a PS3. <laughs> I've never touched a PS3, so I don't know how Ratchet and Clank ended. <laughs> so. Oh, then I definitely won't spoil it for you. <laughs> oh, sweet. Coming up to uh, the same subject on the new uh, generation. Um, obviously, you've seen Pod Ghost. How do you feel about Riley? How do <laughs> I feel about Riley? Um... Or how does he think about Riley? Hmm. Ozzy fucking hates the guy. <laughs> to be simple as, he thinks that Riley's a piece of shit, and he wants him to burn. He wanted to punt him right off that cliff. He he thought he was a dickogram, but um, ah, <laughs> uh, how what do I think about Riley? I think that the concept of Riley is cool. I believe that the German Shepherd or whatever the type of dog that Riley is is a little overused. I mean, I understand it's like the stereotypical militarized dog, but I don't know. Maybe in time they'll have DLC. With um, with like different breeds, I don't know how they're gonna get that to scale with the dog itself. Like if it's a fucking Chihuahua and it's got like a huge ass camera on its back, when you tell that thing to fetch, it's gonna fucking break its spine trying to walk. So I don't know how they're gonna do it on that, but I I don't know. I mean, I definitely enjoy the concept. Now, uh, pretty funny question. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with a fuck one, marry one, and kill one. All right. Here we go. Uh, Mia Kunis, Scarlett Johansson, or Angelina Jolie. Uh, okay. I live on an island. Um, we don't get out much. We don't really hear from the outside world. Who the fuck is Mila Kunis? <laughs> okay. Well, that one's completely out of thing. We're, we're going to go ahead and have you kill her since you don't even know who she is. She's pretty hot, but, but we're going to kill her off then. No, wait. D- like, does she talk a lot? If she's hot and she doesn't talk, I'll marry her she, or she something. She plays with Meg on Family Guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, dude, no. No, fucking fuck. Fuck. Dude, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. You should fine. probably go Google that after this. Yeah, totally. No, I mean, I I knew I know her. I just didn't know her name. She has a name. Oh Jesus. Yeah, she has a name. I thought she was just C <laughs> No, no, she's she's all face and body. Don't Ooh. worry about this. Ooh. So we got a fuck. Who would you uh? Who would you kill and marry? Who would I kill? Um, what were my other two choices? Scarlett Johansson or Angelina Jolie. Mm, I have a question. The one that I marry, are they okay with the fact that I'm fucking Meg? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they would be okay with it. Alright, alright, alright. And once I've married them, do I still only get to fuck Meg, or do I get to have a three-way? I, I'm pretty sure they'd be down for a three-way. 
Okay, all right. Uh, I'm going to kill Scarlett Johansson just because I don't really know what she looks like. She's not coming to my mind. And Angelina Jolie, uh, I guess I'll... The redhead in Avengers. Scarlett Jo... Oh, the redhead in Avengers. Well, mm, I don't know. I mean, she she fucked Captain America. I mean... (laughs) Like I can't really I can't really compare myself to Captain America. <laughs> There's not a lot going on. <laughs> so uh steroid motherfucker. But uh yeah, I'm gonna kill her off just because that's just Captain America second hand and uh and I'll marry Angelina Jolie because she looks like she can make a pretty good sandwich. <laughs> all right. Well is there anything else you'd like to say to uh all the minions and feminine fem feminine? <laughs> Uh, feminions. <laughs> there, you, there you go. Yeah, out there. <laughs> Feminions. Uh, I want to say thank you everybody for uh, supporting uh, New versus Pro, Ozzy and Drift, Drifters channel, Ozzy's channel, my little snippets in Ozzy's channel. Um, I want to let you guys know that uh, even though I pro or uh, even though Ozzy doesn't uh, co- comment on every single one of your requests and everything, I guarantee you either him or I actually look every day just to see if anybody's commented on us. One, because we really care about you guys, and the other one is because we have nothing else to do. So, um, <laughs> But uh, I want to say thank you, uh, Amanda Button, yeah, for uh, giving the interview of a very good interview, yeah. And... <laughs> um, <sighs> Um, uh, yeah, uh, MLG, McGee, uh, vote Ozzy for Los Angeles, or start, you know what, actually, yeah, if you want me and Ozzy to possibly come to Los Angeles, I need you guys to just spam the fuck out of Activision, just, I can't give you the details, but just spam the fuck out of them, <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll leave everything down in the description for you guys, gonna go ahead and give you a link over to Ozzy and Drifter's channel. Um, and I'll see you guys later. Whoa. So, about that fuck. 